yourself into the room at home. Um, you, you have to be happy with the way the team played against such a tough team. And I think we'll look at him. I really am because I'm telling you, this team we were flat. That's all. They were. We couldn't get anything done. So I was a little concerned as I pleased them with the snowball and two continuous flat nights. But I thought we came out. You know, as you notice, we changed our offense tonight. Uh, we didn't have an option, so Jordan Moore ran the 5 1. She was the only setter. Uh, and really, she did a very good job. I think she was a little nervous before the game, but we were really, really pleased um, with what she, what she did. You, you had a lot of freshmen step up. Brenna Lyles, Jordan Cole, Lauren Kirch, most of all. You've got to be happy the way, you know, they've kind of jumped in and filled in the, the rest of the offense from last year. Yeah, I don't think we had any seniors out there. Yeah. As you said, talk about it. Um, but when we run the 5 1, we can run Lauren Kirsch on that slide more so we can get her the ball. When we run a 6 2, we don't, we're not able to do that as much. So there's pluses and minuses. Unfortunately, it worked out for us tonight. Um, and Sunday, we'll probably do the same thing. We don't have too much of an option. But I thought defensively, we walked a little bit better tonight. And early on, I thought we did a very nice job with the ball. Be. But I was really pleased with Jordan Moore just because it was her first start as a 5 1. And we told her yesterday when we knew this was going to happen. Jordan, get yours for me. Be prepared mentally, physically, the whole year. Again, we've got to reduce the serving errors in game three. Kelsey won and having a career day, having a career high or career game, game, high. game high, 18 kills. You know, we mentioned, we talked about it before, she, she wasn't starting at the beginning of the season. Really turned it up so far. You've got to be pleased with her play. I so tell you, Kelsey, as you know, is only this offer. That kid only gets better and better every night. And what I'm, I'm extremely pleased with, what you don't know, you weren't there, but Wednesday night against UTA, it's the biggest struggle I've ever seen her get into. She had, I think, two kills, five years, hit a negative. Kelsey Wine had never hit a negative. And she was concerned. The next day in practice, she came into my office and says, Coach, what, what am I doing? You know, and I said, just relax. Da, 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 da. And she came back tonight. So she needed that for herself and her, her mentality as much as anything. You know, coming off of a tough team like this going forward to Monroe, they struggled a little bit, but you can't take a team like that lightly because they're exactly. still they're still a Division One team. How, how are you looking at that game going well, forward? Well, in the morning, first of all, in the morning from 9.30 to 11, we have our free clinic, a, a youth clinic, anywhere from nine-year-old, uh, five-year-olds to the eighth graders. So anybody out there listening, if you've got a little one, bring them up to the Coliseum. We've got a free clinic for them, and they will get a free a ticket to the game on, on Sunday. Uh, but tomorrow we'll... Forget this win. Enjoy it for a couple hours tonight because then we've got to talk about ULM tomorrow. They, they they played us well over there. They're a good team. They just haven't had any breaks, and let's just hope that Sunday it's not here. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate win. Thank you.